In today's video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily create consistent characters for your children's storybook, AI video, or other creative projects using Canva AI. We invite you to take a look. Here are some results I've achieved. Now I will show you how to create them. First, log into your Canva account. Select the Instagram square format. And scroll down until the Magic Media option appears. This is the Magic Media interface, which includes three sections. Images, graphics, and videos. You will be most interested in the Images section. Here, you'll find various styles and frame sizes to choose from. To create a basic prompt describing your character, include details such as age, hair color and type, clothing, and the scene in which the character is situated, along with what they are doing. For consistency, be sure to include a seed number in your prompt. I've randomly generated one, but you're welcome to use any number you prefer. This is prompt generated for this example. I will copy this prompt and insert it into Magic Media. We will wait and see the results. Here are the initial results we've received. Must be said that they are very high quality, although there are still some minor details with errors that need attention. require you regenerate to achieve the best results. Click on Generate again. And here you can see the results. Let me spread one out to show you the quality. The red part of describing the character action has been changed, and I will use this prompt. Overall, the generated images show a high level of consistency, making them ideal for creating visual stories or your own children's book. I will also give this prompt in the description. So these are the results that after a period of time we have practiced and received. It must be noted that the results obtained are of very high quality and excellence. Now I will show you the following structure for generating the prompt. This structure includes character setting, background image, character activity, and style of image. In the prompt, coloring the character's actions to make it easy to switch to another. Let's apply another example. Now I will generate an image with this prompt.
These are the results of this prompt. It's very appropriate for a Christmas story. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you soon in the next video.